O'Neill, massive game here at the weekend, Perpignan, placing the last eight of the Amling Cup. Can't ask for more than that, can you? Nah, no, nah, exactly. I think uh, it'd be a dream come true, wouldn't it? I mean, like we said, um, just mentioned before, if uh, you would have said a few years ago when we were running around in the championship that we'd have a team like Perpignan coming down to Sandy Park and we'd have a quarter final at stake in the Amling Cup, I think we certainly would have taken it. It's going to be a massive test, though, Perpignan. We know from you playing over there uh, yeah. earlier in the season, they're going to come fully loaded. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you can't take them for granted. I mean, they're, they're a fantastic side and they've got a great, great, strong squad. And um, again, but we'll be looking forward to for them to come down here because uh, they made it a pretty tough place for us down there. Rob has alluded to it in his interviews already this week that Sandy Park's a pretty special place on match days and the crowd, when they get behind you boys, act as almost like a 16th man. Um, they've got their part to play as well. Oh, definitely. Um, and, you know, they're fantastic and they've been near rain or shine you know and uh, we owe them a lot and um, yeah we want them to make as much noise as they can and like we say try and make it the 16th man that we call it and uh, try and put a bit of pressure on uh, Perpignan. Like any game of rugby though it's got to be one up front and <laughs> you as a man in the front row uh, that's where it really starts and, and, and ends almost but uh, what are you expecting from them especially up front? Uh, probably a few slight digs um, and uh, probably a very physical encounter I mean they're renowned for probably being on one of the best scrummaging packs in the world. Um, and Schuster, Mass. Yeah, this, the list goes on. So, it, you know, out there again, it was a fantastic challenge individually and collectively. Um, it's nice that people actually recognise that we actually do something. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be tough, tough battle up front. But, you know, I'm sure whoever takes the field um, will give it their all and hopefully we'll come out on top. You travelled to Italy, you didn't play, but uh, it was a great trip and a great performance from the boys and again showed the strength we have within the squad right now that guys are stepping in and it's a seamless uh, link almost. Uh, it's, it's fantastic and I mean it's, it's credit to the boys, everyone seems to have stepped up, everyone wants to play and it's probably the one position as a coach you, you want to be in but you wouldn't really want to be in because selection must be an absolute nightmare because yeah. uh, like you say the boys are playing really well and I think they can effectively nearly pick from a full squad. How much of the lessons of the last 12 months were, where you played in Bourgoin, you played in Montpellier, you've been to Perpignan, you've been to Prato now, you've, you've seen these different cultures, these different game experiences, how much is that helping the team grow as well? Well this is the thing, I mean the, the biggest thing I think is there's a lot of the boys that haven't played in the European Cup games, there's a few of us that have uh, with obviously different clubs that we've been at and I think the biggest thing is is that the boys actually realise they are capable of playing in it mm. and so therefore this year it's not a case of the players, well we are getting better as individuals but I think it's the fact that we're you know we've got a lot more self-belief and a lot more confidence and then obviously that shine through uh, shines through and uh, helps the team perform. Obviously the bread and butter of the Premiership and, and doing as well as we can in that is, is the main focus but what will it mean to, to have a last eight spot in the uh, in the championship uh, in the cup sorry? I think you know it's it just shows massive strides where the clubs come in the, in the last few years I think if you think you know we've only what been in the Premiership for two years for us to be in this position now I mean everyone keeps saying second season syndrome and all this and you know obviously we're trying to do the old cliche and take one game at a time but for us to be in a position that we're in in the league and like you say we're in the you know top of our pool in the Amlin I mean it's fantastic and like you say for us to get a quarter final here at Perpignan at home in our hands you couldn't ask for much more could you? Brilliant thanks Clarky. No worries mate.